last time on Persona 4 Golden. That's my cue. Leave Do it to it. me. Yosuke Strike! Here goes. Game sucks? Ah, there it is! Let my naked truth be burned into your brains! No! Don't say it! You are... not me! Now, I'm finally myself! Face your eyes! <laughs> I can see everything about you. <laughs> What's the deal? Our attacks aren't making a dent. Woohoo! Analysis complete. Okay, here comes my counterattack. See if you can dodge, hmm? You gotta be kidding. No! You guys can't die! What can I do? Sensei. I don't know. I feel like I'm going berserk! Teddy's going Super Saiyan. Teddy! Oh, is he dead? Thank God. We'll explain everything later, but for right now... What's wrong, Chie? There's... no real me. Hey. Teddy. No, get back. Something's coming out of him. Real? Me? <laughs> Such foolishness. What is that thing? Standal. Don't tell me. Is that the other Teddy? Teddy's hidden thoughts? I believe so, but it seems like there's more. I felt some powerful presence intervene. What? What's going on? What? Whoa! The, the truth, truth is unattainable. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. It will it always be shrouded in fog. fog. Though you, you reach, reach through, through the, the murk and the gloom to grasp something, something. You have no means to know it is the truth. In which case, why? What sense is there in yearning for truth? Close your eyes. Lie to yourself. Live in blissful ignorance. It is a much smarter way to exist. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word you're saying! You're just making it sound difficult because I'm not that smart! How rude! Maybe you can't tell, but I'm thinking as hard as I can! It is those efforts that I am calling useless. You are hollow. Empty. At your core, you know this. You just cannot accept it. So you seek an alternate form. A denial of your nature. You have no lost memories. If you have forgotten anything, it is this truth. Th that's... That's a lie! Shall I spell it out for you? You are but a mere... I said shut up! Teddy! It is the same for you all. You undergo suffering because of your search for the truth. This world is filled with thick, heavy fog. How can you find something when you know not what you search for? There's a way to find it. And thus, you invite more suffering upon yourselves. It is beyond my comprehension. Then I will grant you one truth. You will all die here. You sought the truth, only to find death. Damn it. How are we supposed to fight something like this without Teddy? It's all right. Get ready, everyone. Hey, don't tell me you're fighting with us. You can't take it. I'm okay. I should be able to take that bear's place. 
It's my turn to save you all. Oh, thank God. Oh, what the fuck? I am a shadow. The true self. I shall give you the truth you claim to hold so dear. The inescapable fact of your death here. Was that creepy thing really inside our teddy? I guess he was a lot more troubled than he looked. We have to save him! Foolish beings, accept your end with dignity and grace. Nah. Oh, hey, full heal. Chose the wrong three characters, Lamau. Fine.
GA, okay. about this. You're gonna pay, damn it! Goes 
fucked on. Here's hoping. What do you mean, not necessary? Uh... Let's do this. Persona! such strength for such a futile endeavor. Is this the Five Nights at Freddy's prequel? Up we go. Oh, well, Mal, imagine. Tell me about it. Let's do this. Persona. Ugh, you punk. Here goes. Persona. Let's 
This is probably a bad idea. Yeah, let's just... Nice. Damn, that hurt. Do 
I mean, it took out half of the HP of uh, Mr. Main Character over here. Why? Why? Yeah, I know. I just forgot. By the time... trust any of this. My controller get disconnected. Hello? There we go. of you, Teddy? Even Teddy had a hidden side. I... I don't know who I am. I've thought a number of times that maybe there is no answer. But I'm here. I live here. You're not alone. 
then I don't have to do this all on my own? Unfortunately, no. Dude, we'll help you figure it out. I'm sure we'll find out about you as we continue investigating this world. You... you guys... I'm... I'm one lucky bear! <laughs> Shut up. Is that... A persona? The courage of heart to support one's friends has been made manifest. Teddy has faced his other self. He has obtained a facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona, Hintoki Doji. Is this my persona? Yep, get ready to never have it used. I can sense strong power from it. It's awesome, Teddy. You okay? Whoa, are you all right? Oh, yeah. Your persona just awakened, too. I'm so sorry. You must be worn out. Yeah, let's hurry outside. Are you feeling okay, Risa-chan? We're almost well, What about outside. Teddy? Is Teddy okay? Like, is he gonna die? I'm alright. I'm more worried about Teddy. He, he's kind of flat. You okay there? We gotta go back for now. Like, we need to fluff him out or something. I want to be alone for a while. Well, that's new. Uh, hey. My beautiful fur is all rough and coarse, and my nose hasn't been working too well either. So while I wait for my fur to grow back, I'm gonna train hard. Nobody can stop moi. Yeah, okay. Here goes. Ah. What's gotten into you? Don't talk to me, please. One more set. Another one. Leave the dude be. Comes a time when a man's got to stand on his own two feet. Uh, I'm not sure this is really one of those times. Well then, Chie and I will take research on home. Yeah, she'll need a lot of rest. We can talk after she regains her strength. Well, um, good luck, Teddy! Just kick back and wait for my wonderful comeback! Peace out! I'll see you later. I said this before, but I can sense something special about you. Sensei, there must be something that only I can do. That's how I feel when I'm with Sensei. That's why I'm gonna get stronger to find my special thing. Yeah, okay. Try not to, like, pull something. Here it goes! <laughs> the lounge is closed. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> He's back! Whoa there! Careful now, Dojima-san. Ow! Damn it, who, who built a step here? That'd be the carpenter, sir. Come on, don't take your anger out on the house. That won't solve anything. Is he drunk? Woo! I'm home! Not at all! I'm back! Well, welcome back. Oh, hi, Nanako-chan. Sorry, but could you 
should go get his futon ready. Man is fucking plastered. Whew. I think he had a little too much to drink. <laughs> How else <laughs> am I supposed to deal with this crap? Friggin' fancy talking kid. I I've been in this line of work since you were all learning your times tables. The prefectural police sent in special investigational support. Mm. Cause you know. We haven't really made any progress on the serial murder since they started in April. <laughs> so this special support is supposedly a hotshot detective from a well-known private agency. Why, you should have seen the look on my face when I met him. He's only a kid your age. I hear he's a pretty sharp cookie, though. Oh, he's a brat like any other. Ain't nothing he can do to help. <laughs> he goes on and on about deductions and deductions. <laughs> Ace or no ace, the prefecture ought to be more careful about giving us brats to babysit. Con condescending bastards. <laughs> the kid said as long as he can be of assistance in solving a difficult case, he won't require a reward. Well, you can imagine the shine the higher-ups took to him after that. So we can't exactly turn him down. Godachi! <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, my big mouth. You run your jaw like this is all some kind of joke. It's your fault to begin with for jumping the gun and hauling in that peeping Tom. Oh, <laughs> um. And you? Yeah. You can take your share of the blame, too. Always wandering around crime scenes whenever something happens. You were scolded by Dojima. His futon's ready. All right, Dojima son, up and at him. Nanako chan got your futon all ready for you. Mm, yeah. I mean, he is right. <laughs> From his point of view, we really are just sticking our nose where it don't belong. Sure does stink like sake in here. Yeah. All right. Nice. So, we did it. We could hang out with the boys. It's Wednesday, so no band practice. If Chia is around, we should probably try to level up that social link. I don't see Chie. Who are you? Interesting. Yukiko is also available. Let's go take a look around town. And also see if we can, uh, you know, do some things in the... in the place. Oh yeah, we should also probably do that. First of all, let's go turn in our materials. Fifty thousand yen. Whew. Type ninety eight Gunto. Wait a minute. Did he just make? Hold on. What did he just make? Cowboy boots. 
18 Nate Cowboys here in the showers of Ram Ranch. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What do you have? Cool beads. Uh, 132 defense, but 11 evasion. I think we need to get that for, uh, what's-his-nuts. Or one of these. Also, we should probably get... I mean, we need to upgrade a lot of people's stuff. Oh, we're not getting rid of this. Autosuku? No. Also, 40 evasion. Whew. A beautiful practical sword for officers. Oh, it's a sword. That's a fucking strong sword. Jesus. I don't know if I can give away the trout. It's 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 better than both of those. I mean, these have plus two strength, uh, but this is 60, this is 59 more damage and four more hit. I think that's worth it. Resist silence, plus four strength. I don't know, I like resist silence on Yukiko since she's a caster. Jesus. nice. I'll keep the rest of my money. Let's go catch some bugs real quick. That was fun. I like that dungeon. See if I still have my gamer sense. Perfect timing.
I'm just too good at video games. Alright, big money, no whammies. Come on. Wearing my lucky shirt today, too. Big money, no whammies. Yeah! Fuck. Alright, it's fine. We got two of each. Trying to think if there's anything we got from that dungeon that uh, was like a quest item or something. What did this guy want? Can't even remember. Okay, right. We need to go. We also need to get that dog some fucking beef. This poor fucking dog is gonna die of malnutrition. Didn't this girl need cabbages? Okay, so that guy wants hard boots. Three heads. Oh my god. Do you sell cabbage seeds? Thank you. Alright, after we harvest the corn. So let's go buy some hard boots real quick for that guy, since we have the money. Mothman? Are you fucking kidding me?
Hmm? Do I have? One, two, three, four. Echo Shogun. Wait, is it after the date of game over? That would make sense. I'm actually going to look it up real quick, just in case. Can only be performed after July 11th. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to leave. Fuck. Huh? Uh... How stupid. One second. I actually do want to do a fusion. Also, let me check the fusion forecast. Nothing. Okay. This one.
Hit it, babe. Hit it. Wait, hit, 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 hit me with it, nose. What's the forecast? Nothing. Spend some time having fun with Mari. Nice. Is Dojima drunk again? You're oh, back. Hey, he isn't drunk. All right. Harvest. We'll throw in the cabbages. Cabbages! They look good. Great vegetables. Great vegetable. <laughs> Excited to see them come in. All right. Uh, we absolutely have to spend time with Dojima. Can't remember which one is. It's Hierophant. Do we have anything of the Hierophant? No. I think I didn't get it because I thought. What is making tomorrow's lunch do again? Can't even remember. Probably better off spending time with Dojima anyway. I was just thinking of making some coffee. All we've got is instant, though. How do you take it? Um, I mean, personally? Black, but... Yeah, whatever. Huh. Easiest gun to make. Dad! The news is starting. Dude, they're giving Nanako coffee? Oh, you don't have to do that. Simple one. On the outskirts of Okina today, a woman bicyclist was hit by a car and died on the scene.
Yo. All right. Uh. You kidding? You gotta be kidding me. Well, think about it, please. Today we'll look at the. <laughs> Today we'll look at Yukichi Fukuzawa's Gakumon no Susumi, or an encouragement of learning. Now open up your textbooks. This Gakumon no Susumi has a reference to the U.S. Declaration of Independence. It's apparent once you start reading. There's a famous line at the beginning. It is said that heaven does not create one man above or below another man. Uh, it is famous for this line. However, the it is said portion shows that it is a reference. So the famous quote is a quotation in itself. Are you listening, Common? What is the beginning of Gakumo no Susumi a reference to? The U.S. Declaration of Independence. Yes, it is referencing the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Um, wrote Seiyo Jijo, or Conditions of the West, actually translates the entire declaration into Japanese. Any existing distinctions between the wise and the stupid? All right, nice. need to hang out with Chie more. Let's see if we can go find her. There she is. Hey, what's up? You want to train? Yep. Samagawa Riverbank. Decide to train with Chie. Mm. Whew, let's call it a day. Huh? It's Chie. What you doing? T Takeshi? Well, training. I'm working out. Huh? When are you going to graduate to being king of the hill? That's not it. King of the hill? In kindergarten, it was the runt gag. Gang. In elementary school, you were an ally of justice. Vanguards of the lunch revolution. Protector of Earth's peace. Well. <laughs> exactly. Chie is surprised. Uh, I was with Chie up until middle school. Uh, wait! Hey, what are you... Oh, how's Yukiko-san doing? Does she have a boyfriend yet?
Maybe I should try for her again. Um... No. <laughs> Come on. Yo, yo. Okay. Ice boost. Um. It's fucking, I don't know. Ice boost. Wait, it's only 25%? That's like nothing. Fuck it. We'll replace that with Auto Taru when it comes by. Let's see you later. You're back. Yeah, what's up? See, is there any reading to do? Since, you know, Dojima won't let me outside. Ah, Forever Macho, right. Courage has significantly increased. Nice. All right. Only one thing to do on rainy days like these. Check if Chie is on the roof for some reason. And then... Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> yeah. If only. Let's go check out the shrine. Um, I know you can't catch bugs on rainy days, but I haven't seen anything at the shrine, you know, during rainy days. Okay, yeah, there's nothing. Let's also go to the floodplain. Um, probably Persona, mostly. You know, I did uh, Borderlands earlier, and really I wasn't even planning to do Borderlands at all, but... Kind of just worked out. But tomorrow we're definitely going to be playing at least a little bit more Borderlands. So, you know, something to look forward to, I guess. Nice. Welcome home. Nanako, okay. So Persona is a part of a series called Shin Megami Tensei. Uh which has been a series very popular in Japan uh before Persona came out. Um it's been a thing since, geez, since the Famicom or the Nintendo Entertainment System. And Persona is a spinoff yeah. of, or not a spinoff, but it's like a side series. But it's actually fine. Um, each of the games are... How do you call it? They each have their own story. So you don't need to, like, play them in order or anything. There's a lot going on. Mm, today's Saturday. Can't remember. Isn't there usually band practice today? Or am I crazy? Might be crazy. Who the fuck are you? Yukiko is not here. I made this in my chemistry class. Try it out. Nice. Since we have money, we should probably restock on uh, items because we use a lot of a lot of stuff.
Interesting. Okay, okay. to get something for that dog to eat. Let me go save real quick. Poor dog, man. Seize the moment. Achievement unlocked. All right. Actually, wait. So the whole reason I bought those is because I wanted to see... if the dog in the Samagawa floodplain... Is he not here because it's raining? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. But yeah, I, I mean, I'd highly recommend... Like, at least checking out one of the games. I was told to check this one out. And... I mean, so far, I've been enjoying it. Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Hmm. It seems Dodima is not around. Let's check things real quick. Um, let's maintain the garden, speed up the cabbage, and get some diligence. Oh, come on. Hmm. 
Who? You can hear sirens in the distance. Did something happen? went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. Yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time, it was King Moron. Oh, thank God. You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? W why What on earth is going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. Gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. Damn it! We came so far and now we're back to square one! Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? It's too early to give up. Damn straight. We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Kanji kun. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? What, what's that supposed to mean? I know. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. And we promised the bear, too. Hey, that's right! Maybe Teddy knows something about this! Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go Maybe see him. Maybe someone can check on Risei? There's staff here? Now that's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. Is there some kind of campaign on today? Mascot? Oh no. He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry? Eddie? Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Oh no. Please don't tell me. Whoa! He's here! Ah! This really hits the spot! What the? I mean, how'd you. It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Of course I can come out. There's an exit. It just never occurred to me to do it before. 
But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. I did wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back, so I waited here for you. Oh, someone asked for my name, so I told them, I'm Teddy. So that's why. Oh, yeah, there's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. Mm. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> and your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone. That's why I came over here. But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. I believe you, Teddy. Oh, Sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. Well, it's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Moron was never on that side? <sighs> What's going on? Maybe it's just straight up murder now. Hey, hey, I want to go somewhere. No. Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you want to go, anyway? I want to give this to Risei-chan. It's for her. What? Oh, it's glasses. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. So I'm going to fight alongside you with everything no, I got. No, you aren't. Don't think of me as the same cute little teddy. I'm an all-new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Guess what? You're never going to get to use them. Today begins the new legend of Today Teddy. begins you getting put on the sidelines. Wow, a new legend. Nice. Oh, people are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Okay, just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? No clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Then what? He was killed over here? Wonder what the cause of death was. Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? Well, it wasn't working. They couldn't? Well, they've done it a bunch of times already, but I guess everyone screws up sometimes. Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Oh, I get you. That could be it. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Risei-chan's up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. <sighs> it's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Cut it out! The 
There's kids watching. Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. Have a little consideration, man. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. You're... Can I... Can I... Can I... <laughs> no. Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear. <laughs> what? I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan, and now I finally have an inside! What? <laughs> yeah, good job with that. Oh, come on, can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? What do you mean you have Dude, an inside? you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you, I'm not hollow anymore! <laughs> It's too hot! I can't stand it! It's so hot! Oh! What the? Much better. Now that hit the spot. Hey, Chie Chan, Yuki Chan. No. Yes? Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Go Daddy? away. Is that really? Uh. Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Then don't don't take the bottom part off. You need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. That's Teddy. He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like, he grew himself a body in there? What kind of creature would do that? I mean, what is he? <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh, hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. Let's head over to Reese's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. I, I, mm. I still don't like him. Mm -mm. It's finally the season for topsicles again. Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. Sorry we're late. How'd it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? Die. C'est mag magnifique. Jim. I have to say, it totally blew my mind, but he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form. Got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like Shut me anymore. Shut up. <laughs> oh, man. If you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? Huh? 
What are you asking me for? Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. Oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> <laughs> It ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive, Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. Die. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? <laughs> Jeez, oh well. Yosuke handed a 1,000 yen bill to Kanji. Here, Kanji, get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. We're gonna head for the tofu shop? You mean the one right next door? Wow, you're rich. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. Whoa, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. I'm glad Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. Fucking eat my ass. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. Charge? What? You put it on my account? Oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. What else were we supposed to do? That stuff was expensive, even for Junette. You seriously charged it to me? Why would you do that? You know I just bought a motorcycle. I'm broke. So, if you're already broke, a little more debt isn't going to make Jesus much of a difference. Jesus Christ, GA. What? Come on, baby. Stop fighting over... Shut up! This is your fault, you know. Like, seriously, if you would have just died earlier, everything would be all right. You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. <laughs> Yo, Teddy, don't let it get you down. Let's go get some Topsicles. Topsicles? Let's go on ahead. I think they're going to be a while. Yeah. Ah, I had a feeling you'd come. You're... Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Risei Kujikawa now? Ingratiate? Who the fuck are you? Jeez, why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Huh? Wait, you're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Yeah, okay. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? So what? Yeah. The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. Yeah. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Muraoka has never appeared on television. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. 
<laughs> well then, until we meet again. Who is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Risei-chan, are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. Pretty much. Oh, um, do you guys have a mm. moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Huh? Sure, okay. Tatsuhime Shrine. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Ah, Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh. He's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Yeah. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Like, they found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Um, so... Hmm? What's up? Um... I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Huh? Oh, you don't have to thank us. Dude, she's so cute! Man, it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are reset. Yeah, okay. Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so... I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do what comes naturally. I think everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just one. <laughs> It sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? It's almost really? like Yukiko has half a brain or something. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Oh yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Is that what you're calling them? Um, you don't have to take them, but... Well... Teddy gave you a pair of glasses to hold on to for when Rise joined you. Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. Jesus. When did I become her fucking Senpai? I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, all right? I do owe you my life, so, you know. <laughs> Got it. It's settled then. I'm counting on you. This sure is a rough time to transfer here, though. For reals. The kidnappings, King Moron's death. All that and exams are soon, too. Eh, just a little bit. Oh, exams. Now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be cancelled. 
But, you know, that's kind of just life. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Alrighty then. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Yo, how's it going? Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. Is he okay? Though if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six. So I still win. No one asked. We're all done talking already. Let's go, senpai. Uh, when did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> so where's Teddy? He's over there finishing up his fifth topsicle. What are we gonna do I with him? Oh man. Well, I guess I'll take him home. What? Good evening. This is Nightline News. Our top story for the night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. The serial murder case in Inaba has claimed a third victim. The news shocked local residents, who have not seen another murder in three months, and assumed the spree had reached its end. The deceased taught at a local high school. Since his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last two victims... King Moron's picture is on the news. It seems he really was murdered. What's wrong? Was it... Someone you know? He died? I'm all right. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's, where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his <laughs> students. Tell me about it. The police will be pursuing this line of inquiry and are planning to begin a large-scale investigation tomorrow. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. The news is livelier than usual. Dad won't be coming home again today. Dude, it's got to be the news network, right? Huh? Let's do it again. Dream World? Welcome. Sup, Nose? It's been quite some Hot time. Minute. Yeah. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. How are things proceeding? Are you gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? I'm not sure. Indeed. The fog clouding your path is thick. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance to help you achieve just that. Fusing personas. Have you been using our services diligently? The aid we will henceforth provide 
is an advanced form of fusion. All right. I speak of the power to fuse four or more personas at once. Four or more. I am quite certain that this will enable you to command even stronger powers. Now, your journey will soon reach its Got climax. Base. And as a result, many challenges, which I cannot foresee at present, await you. Most interesting. <laughs> well, until we meet again, farewell. This has to be like the halfway point of the game, right? My best! Yo! My best. I still can't believe it. Our homeroom teacher was killed. I couldn't get that much sleep yesterday. How about you? Are you alright? Uh, I'm okay. Well, if we start getting depressed over something like this, we'll never catch the killer, huh? Oh yeah. This means we'll be getting a new homeroom teacher. Wonder who it'll be. Well, I'm pretty sure that they won't be able to find anyone worse than King Moron. My best. Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. Ah, uh, yes, everything on TV is true. Oh my god. Good morning. I'm Noriko Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting today. Excuse the fuck me? You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you instead. <laughs> okay, why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka? Close your eyes, everyone. That should be enough. <laughs> I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Nori-chan. Uh. But that's what it means to become an adult, little by little. <laughs> oh, it must be tough for you. I already can't stand her. First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? How much worse can it get? Oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? Someone seems angry. In person? <laughs> She's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? What does that have to do with anything? What's so great about an idol, anyway? Right, class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. Someone's salty. Jesus. What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. It's kind of fucked up, dude. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Risei's pinup book. The fuck? That sounds kind of pervy. He annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. Oh, you know what? Rosette was on a strip tease show. Huh? A striptease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. You actually believe that crap? How friggin' dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming it. The rumor about the midnight channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. Understandable. Ugh, finals are next week. <laughs> 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 oh, 
hold on, hold on. Uh, finals are next week. Uh, finals are next week. Uh, finals are next week. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Yeah, if by a while you mean all the time. Shut up! Like you've ever seen my scores! But Chie always has above average marks in the subjects that she doesn't fail. Hey, hey, why'd you tell him? My score's just... very... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Reese, John, you Aww. too? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just... I thought it would take me a while to make any friends at my new school. Too bad we met under such awful circumstances. Oh yeah. What do you guys think about King Moron's case? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. My nose isn't as sharp now, but I can tell that much. Maybe we should get Igor in. He's got a real sharp nose, you know what I'm saying? But they found the body on a foggy day again, right? They said on the news that that crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki-senpai. I really wonder about the culprit's motives. Why was Mr. Moraoka targeted? He was shit-talking Rise. What do you think? Hope it wasn't personal. Because there's way too many people who ate a King Moron's guts. That's true. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? Not necessarily famous, but people who get on TV. If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV, I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. Huh. You sound like you speak from experience, she does. Chan. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Radio? Newspaper? Uh, I don't get this at all. Man, two victims in a row from our school. That's got to set off the police's alarm bells. They're not going to leave any stones at school unturned. <sighs> you know, to be honest, somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High, but we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die. But now, I feel bad that I doubted him. He was a capital A asshole, but that doesn't justify killing him. And not just King Moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what! Well, we'll do what we can, for King Moron's sake, too. At this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? So why don't we split up and... That won't be necessary. You! There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. And why is that? Why is that? Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. Doubt that one, Chief. How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. What? They found a suspect? Who is it? As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high schooler. Mm -hmm. It isn't public knowledge yet, but he isn't a student of your high school. Ah. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. I expect it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. The suspect is a high schooler? Huh. All right, so why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? 
Your game will soon reach its end. I felt I should at least let you know that. Just as long as it ends. You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Well, no matter. I have no reason to say anything further. A game? Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? <sighs> I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. What could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus, we made a promise. Y Yosuke! Shut up. A game. <laughs> that may be quite true. Why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests. And we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case, either. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services are required. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing. But its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. This won't be the end. Uh... What was that about? He just said his piece and left? Hmm... He said they have a suspect. But is this really gonna solve everything? <sighs> Who knows? Welcome back. Hmm. For some reason, there's an alarm clock inside ticking away. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Sorry, Nanako. Mm, that won't do anything. Actually, yeah, I guess we'll spend time with Nanako since... Start next week. <sighs> Senpai, you look pretty down. It's not good for you, you know? Once they're over, summer vacation isn't far behind, right? Shut it, puny underclassman. I have to study for my college entrance exams. Once you're a third year student, you'll get a taste of what it's like to take tests all year. <sighs> Remember, guys, the finals are starting next week. If you fail, you'll have to attend our lovely summer school. Uh, anyway, today we're going to talk about sex linkage. Sex linkage inheritance is dependent on allosomes. To say it simply, it's genetic inheritance that's caused by whatever decides if you're male or female. Uh, an example is calico cats. Calico cats are almost entirely female. Not that there aren't any boys, but apparently there's only one out of every several tens of thousands. Maybe these rare male calicos are very popular with the ladies, ha ha ha. Your knowledge has changed from expert to professor. Damn. Let's go.
All right. Hmm. Well. Should find new confidants, part time jobs. Who the fuck are you? Well, first things first. What is it? Hoofla. Who pinged me? What the fuck? All right. What is weak to wind? Strong with physical. Oh shit, party. Growth, auto, survive light or survive dark seems like the way to go. Or Raku. Either of these, really. I mean, it's strong with physical, so Assault Dive also wouldn't be a bad idea. But Assault Dive is also a basic thing, and we can replace that. Or, and we have the card, so we can make it, basically. Let's do Survive Dark.
Special Fusion Expert. Achievement unlocked. I am Neko Shogun. I am the master of war. Nice. Black Frost? My god. Velvet Ticket. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, a Neko Shogun with Bufala. You have successfully completed the request. This is a rare persona. I think I could even beat my master with this. Hmm, wait a moment. This persona's nose isn't long at all. Uh, no, there's no way I can win with this persona. It's not easy to surpass the master. Regardless, I appreciate you showing me this beautiful persona. One after another, you make my every wish come true. What a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well then, for my next request, a black frost that knows Otto Sukukaja. Damn. That's a tall order. Use the Persona Unicorn Infusion. Bonus stats, bonus fire skill. We don't have a unicorn. We could make one. But it would require Neko Shogun. Which, we're, we're not getting rid of it. Thanks. No thanks. Also, Black Frost is a pentagon. Penta... Yeah. Requires Pyrojack, Jack Frost, King Frost, Pixie, and Ghoul. Jesus Christ. Make a Jack Frost first. What, like Fuse or... Enzu plus... Saris? Right, our recent Anzu already has Autosuku.
I'm Jack Frost. Ho. Nice to meet ya, hee ho. That frees up four slots. I'm not going to bother with the fusion forecast right now. In fact, I've been streaming for six hours. And a lot happened today. Like, a lot, a lot happened today. So, I'm done. For now. Did I save? I saved, right? Doesn't hurt to double save. Alright. <sighs> 